Hey y'all, so today we're gonna be doing a quick little last minute style that you can do. Um, as you guys know, my hair is pretty short. So I'm gonna show you how I was able to get nice full buns and very natural looking at that. So if you're interested in how I did this quick little style, keep watching. So I used the faux lock hair in order to make my buns nice and full. It's the Expressions Afro, um, Spring Twist 24 inch hair. If you're interested in watching how I did my faux locks, I will link that video right here. So this is kind of, this was a developmental process because I knew I was going somewhere today and I knew I wanted to have a cute little simple style, but I started out doing just like one pony cell in the back and then I realized that just you know a few videos ago I actually had already done that style so I started out on freshly washed and conditioned hair um, as always you guys know I'm gonna be using my staples which are my own my very own Kelly Logan um, conditioning honey and oat protein shampoo and conditioner duo guys try these out the good thing about this sham the shampoo is that it gets your hair very clean i know i use a lot of products um i put a lot into my hair so when i wash my hair i need to get it clean i don't mess around with like co-washing or anything like that when i wash my hair i need to get everything out of my hair to give my hair a good reset and this is going to be the shampoo for that and not to mention Another benefit is that it does have, you know, that oat protein in there. So it gives your hair a little healthy boost. So if you want this duo or any of the products that I'll mention in this video, www.kellyloganhair.com. Um, but yeah, so I started out, washed and conditioned my hair, blow dried it out, and I started styling into that ponytail. So that's why when I went to do this style, I'll cut over to that video where my hair, it looks like it's not freshly washed because it has so much product in it, but it was because I had initially done a completely different style. But in order to get this style, I just um, used my Mac Toe Styling Jelly. Now I did have some of my braid twist and lock gel on my hair. That is what helps me to get my hair as flat as it is, is gonna be my braid twist and lock gel. Uh, but I use that in combination with my Max Hold Style and Jelly. Um, and on my edges, obviously, I used my edge control. The good thing about two ponytails is that you're working with less hair. When your hair is natural, it is very um, voluminous. So it's a lot harder to get your hair into those like really sleek ponytails. So what I always do, well, this is nothing new, I... Um, divide my hair into sections now because my hair is getting a little bit longer i don't have to divide it into so many small sections so i parted my hair from here to here obviously i did my part here divided them into two and then i just parted it from here to here and worked in sections so this back part was put into a ponytail first so you're going to gel that down using your choice of gel i used my kelly logan max hold styling jelly um and then you're gonna start working on um, the other section, which is this little swoop part. Now, I did separate a little bit of hair in the front because I did want, you know, a little bit of baby hair. I didn't want it to just be one swoop. So if you wanna do baby hairs, pull forward some of your little hairs to work with once you're done getting your ponytails done. So next, you're just gonna work with your the, the remainder of your hair and you're gonna swoop it to your liking. The best way to get natural hair into a ponytail like this is to not just to use a brush. You want to use a comb as well so that you're smoothing down any hair that might be kind of um, drawn up. So you want to make sure you use, you're alternating with a comb and a brush and just get it as smooth as possible. And then you secure it with a rubber band into the, into the ponytail as well. Next, you're gonna do your baby hairs. Like I said, I use my Kelly Logan Effortless Edges Edge Control. Smells so good and it's a different texture. It's not gonna be your typical 
edge control. It's a lot more sticky than the typical edge control. A lot of edge controls go greasy or they just don't last long. This is a very tacky edge control that's going to really um, give you the hold that you need and it's going to give you the lasting power that you need. Um, so I use my edge control to smooth down my little edges and I wanted to try out the like the messy the I wanted to try out the messy edges look. I really like that look and I was thinking like how could I do this with my natural hair and I figured since the edge control kind of makes your hair it molds your hair I literally just took the edge control and I don't know if you guys can see it but it's like a little ringlet I just took the edge control and um, brushed it onto my hair and it pretty much made my hair straight and moldable so I just took that and kind of made a little ringlet a little curl using my fingers so these are heatless messy edges and I'm kind of feeling them like this might be my new go-to as far as baby hair so yeah I did that and then did the other side the exact same way and these were the results but yeah I'm not gonna hold y'all up too too much for this quick little tutorial as always y'all know it's just my goal to deliver some good quality content and give you some fresh ideas for your natural hair um, if you did enjoy this video make sure you give it a nice little thumbs up let me know I'm doing a good job um, if you didn't like the video just keep it to yourself just keep moving <laughs> but make sure you're subscribed make sure you have the notification bell ticked so that you will be notified anytime I upload content like this but until next time you guys are amazing and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day